So I have just been on the 50th anniversary of the Pride March. It really felt like a Pride March of the old days. And I have to tell you also that the coverage on the television also sounded like the coverage from the old days. A gay pride march was held in central London. Just a few hundred people took part in what was a political protest for equality. Half a century on, it's our mainstream event, attended by around 30,000 people. Its success shows how far gay rights have come, but the battle for equality is far from over, as Martha Fairley now reports. Little did they think when they gathered here exactly 50 years ago that they were about to start a revolution. These are some of the veterans of the very first Pride March in 1972. Members of the Gay Liberation Front who walked through London to protest about gay rights. Those pioneers chose the name Pride because it was the opposite of shame, a feeling brought about by society's attitude to homosexuality at the time. Andrew Lumsden remembers that first march well. You couldn't be out at work, the employer could fine legally for being LGBT. And so what we all loved and reveled in was being with everybody else, out in the street, in broad daylight, with people watching with amazement or amusement or friendship. And some people came off the pavement and joined us. Pride has evolved into an annual event open to everyone, but in recent years it has also been criticised for becoming too commercial and losing its political edge. Today, hundreds from the LGBT plus community joined the Pride veterans in this anniversary event to retrace their steps through the streets of the capital and reclaim the original spirit of Pride. <laughs> brings to the end all my little pride videos. I hope you found them useful and interesting and um, happy pride.